It sounds like it's coming through. <clears throat> so we should be good. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is Esker31. Welcome to a Tuesday stream. <clears throat> um, so, uh, <clears throat> uh, we're back playing uh, Broken Sword 5. The Serpent's Curse. There we go. We got it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're back. Uh, we're... Uh, Jesus Christ, what happened last time? Um, oh, my God. Uh, okay, so... So, there's an easy way to do this, man. There's an easy way to do this. Just look back at the 100%. There we go. Okay, so... We, uh, right, we went to, we went to speak to Lane again, he tried hitting on us, we spilled champagne on him, and, uh, left him with blue balls. Um, no, we just left him dry, to dry, period. <laughs> uh, then we went to a man's, uh, name, uh, Midovsky, uh, a Rus Russian guy who was su the supposed owner supposed owner of the painting that we're looking for and uh we're we're uh <clears throat> and uh basically um and we found a bunch of evidence that proves that we uh proves that he's not really the owner he owns the security security we think we he used his um his gardener uh, as the thief and <laughs> and uh yeah uh did all that that then we went uh to um his uh his restores place uh we got him drunk we got info out of him um uh we and got stuff from the uh the gallery owners his wife uh she got very drunk um and and uh, we disguise ourselves as as her as her now dead husband to basically get the keys to the gallery, and uh, and the priest is dead. The priest is dead from the beginning. So yeah, a lot of things actually happened yesterday. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, now we're gonna continue. Anyway, how is everybody? <laughs> a lot of stuff has happened. All right. Um, game wise, game wise, not, not like, not here, just saying. All right, anyway. <clears throat> so now when, uh, in the apartment the old man was in, Tiago, uh, and now we're about to get an achievement. Uh, so apparently there are 10 pugs in here. There are 10 pugs in here. And we need to uh, find them all. Okay, so. It was a large statue of a pug. I pug. wonder how one man could have so many pugs. Okay, so there's one. Tiny flying pug. Weird. Yeah, well, how about Medium -sized that? Medium-sized pug with wings. <coughs> <coughs> the man likes his pugs, man. Large Don't shame. pug. Very strange. Don't don't diss the pug. Pug on canvas. Surprisingly cool. <laughs> uh pug on pillow. Heidi Boo pug. This pug. Not so Heidi Boo pug. And this pug? Pug cushion. Pug portrait. Pug in love. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the last one is right over here. <clears throat> Mini pug on a shelf. Bookend <clears throat> pug? Book pug? I'd found all the little fellas. Or had I? Yes, I had. I huh. definitely found them all. <laughs> Mainly because I don't want to look for them. And that should be an achievement. Yep. Yeah, 50 games for Notorious Pug. <laughs> Alright, 
Uh, examine the overturned chair. <laughs> this the chair had been knocked over comics. in the fight. But there was something glinting underneath. It was Marquez's medallion. Oh. Alright, the mess on the floor. There'd clearly been a struggle. Marquez must have put up quite a fight. <coughs> I spotted something in the mess. It was Marquez's family photo. No. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. I don't think he would have intentionally left a mess, turn, turn the chair over and, and all that. So, god damn it. The sofa right. was a real mess. <clears throat> But there was something between... The stuff on the floor looks more like a mess, but sure. It was one of the photographs that Mika had taken during the robbery. Oh. It showed a section of La Maledicia. Marquez had written them. Magdalene. Saint. Is that supposed to say saints? Saints? I almost thought that said Santa. Santa? I found him! <laughs> and then Judas? Okay. Uh, exit the close-up, salmon, the blood. <coughs> there was still There's quite blood. a blood stain. I really hoped that Marquez was all right. Okay. And what? Josh, you find anything? Marquez's medallion and one of your photos of the robbery. Marquez scribbled all over it. I think he was trying to work something out in the painting. That's not all over Sydney it, must but have been right. the sure. painting is some kind of map. We should. Hold on, my phone. Hello, oui. Oh no. <coughs> apartment but why do you do not worry i am just moments away be very careful oh my he god dude and highly dangerous dude but he seems so uh, charming trust me madame the leopard never changes his stripes a leopard doesn't have stripes that was never you in big trouble <laughs> a, le a leopard has saw me with Sydney's body he has, set me up for whatever. sure well, Nave is on his way, and he'll be here any moment. We oh, have God. To go, Nico, now. Down the back stairs. We'll go through Fleur's shop. F f with, through, through who? Fleur's shop? Who's Fleur? Hello, Fleur. Did you see anybody here? Ah, nope. there you are. Right on time. Sorry, Fleur, but we can't stop. Suit yourself. Damn it. Sergeant Lou is outside the door. <laughs> He's talking to someone. Oh no, it's Adam. Who? My neighbor. Ah, oh. the pug lover with the trashed apartment. <laughs> That's the one. The pug lover. Hey, Fleur. Great to see you again. You were <laughs> expecting us? <gasps> You're a pug a lover. Course. You're a pug a lover. We should, um... Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> News travels fast. Oh my god. Take this. I almost feel that. <laughs> that was really what do I do with <laughs> just thinking about mail. that, but. Bribe Moo with a nice Aaron sweater? You will find a way. <laughs> now, you are a MacGyver. I think so. it's time you planned your escape. Uh oh. Oh, hi, Adam. Hey. Hi, Nico. How you doing? I've got to my apartment. Oh, really? Really? I wonder why. Oh man, that's yeah, weird. I wonder why too. Yeah, I'm hi. George, by the way. Huh. Adam, I live in the apartment next to Nico. I know. Cool. I cool. mean, how interesting. Fleur, can I sit here for a while oh. until the police let me back in? I mean, I, would, I mean, I would. <laughs> or it said, yeah, 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 I heard about you from her. And so what now? 
Is that a Walkman? A Is there a Walkman? Way to get past Moo. Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, so we got the... Okay, we got the on. Fleur! And Adam. Alright, uh... Shop, take the flowers from the basket on the floor. Take the flowers. Give Go me. ahead, Josh. Take a few. <gasps> Thanks. Thank you. Examine the boxes. There were boxes stacked along the wall. They were all labeled. Florist's phone. Flower food. Ribbon. Pee pee. What? Okay labels. Wait. Pee -pee. What was? But yeah, My I was. Curiosity was aroused. I, I was about to say what it was. It was a plastic statue. Oh. The ma. The mannequin, the mannequin piss. Careful with that. It's just come in. Special order. What is oh. it? Okay. A replica mannequin pee. Fill it with water, pop in some batteries, and watch it go tinkle. Oh my hmm. god. Very tasteful. Okay. Uh, talk to, oh, CD player. Really? How dated is this game? No offense. <laughs> Let's talk to Adam. Hey there, Adam. What are you doing? Oh, hey, George. What can I do for you? Do you know what's going on with the police? Uh, no, they wouldn't tell me. Good. Hmm. I, I mean, strange. It's annoying. I'm really tired. It was a long drive. Oh, been anywhere interesting? I've just come back from a coin fair. It was mega. Oh, wow, coin fair. Fascinating. You don't say. Um. So, uh, tell me more about this coin fair. It's Europe's biggest. So much to see. Really? Not bad. Did you by chance see a Russian ruble? <laughs> uh, select coin. So, what do you think of this coin? Oh my god, that's a platinum 12 ruble. It is? I, I mean, uh, yeah, of course it is. <gasps> so so yeah. we've been carrying around a Russian ruble? Oh my god! <laughs> no! His coin shop's just around the corner. Hey, maybe you could use the money to redecorate your apartment. But it doesn't need redecorating. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> Add another plug. <laughs> You'll have 11. <laughs> Hell, hell, get 20! <laughs> I can't believe it. I mean, I guess it makes sense when you find, when you find a freaking, uh, find a coin in a Russian's home. <laughs> okay, examine the CD player. Press the stop button. Press the stop button. I stopped the disc. Okay, eject. Give me the disc of the ocean dreamscape, the relaxing sounds of the seashore. Really? This is ocean what he was listening to? Just what I needed with the day I was having. Now, open the battery compartment. Uh, there you go. And I guess take the battery. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, take Those the battery. Come in handy. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, stereo. Okay, compact disc on stereo. Flirt, do you mind if I change the music? Good idea. <laughs> I've been listening to the same thing all day. The sound of lapping waves was affecting Mu, but I was going to need something more to open what the, the floodgates. What the, what? Oh my god, are you serious? You're gonna make this man pay piss? Oh my god, this poor guy. Alright, uh, put batteries on the piss thing. What? I slotted the battery into the mannequin. <laughs> A jaunty series of LEDs lit up around the figure. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, we gotta use the whiskey on... We're going to use it on the sketch. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it on my phone. 
All right, I gotta put it on on that. <laughs> I poured the whiskey into the mannequin. Slancha, wee man, slancha. What? Okay, take this, and we're gonna put it on the trolley. <laughs> this is gonna be so stupid. I placed the statue in the trolley and switched on the waterworks. The mannequin cheerfully sprayed a stream of golden whiskey. Oh, nice. God. I gave the trolley a push. Blur certainly kept her bearings well. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. All of a sudden, I need to pee. Oh, damn it. I need to go. <laughs> This poor guy. <laughs> okay. We made him go piss by go drinking go. coffee. Now we made him piss by by making Does ocean sounds you? and having him look at a statue. A uh, a statue pee. And right now, I'm oh, not God. <laughs> so you're telling me that Bijou and Ops were having an affair? Yeah. So. She's got some explaining to do. Oh, right. I did not remember that. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Hey, Bijou. How you doing? Bijou, I need to talk to you. Oh, uh, you mean no, a headache. No, it really can't. <laughs> Sorry, you heard noise. I was tightening my mic. So, Bijou, I know this is kind of a, kind of an awkward uh, thing right now, but, uh... In the daylight, and without the fog of incense, the apartment looked even weirder. Really? You didn't notice how weird it looked before? Josh, how delightful to see you. May I present Good my friend Nico? See you too. Josh and I go way back. Oh, really? Well, don't worry, my dear. I won't <clears> steal him, <throat> though he is rather a cutie. Uh, Bijou, we're here to uh, clear up a few points, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Bijou. Um. Okay. Okay. Speak to her. Oh. Oh. Okay, a bit close. Uh <laughs> How are you, Bijou? I have the teeniest of headaches, Sherry. It always happens when I sleep in the afternoon. Mm. I figured it was the champagne before the nap that had done the damage. Yep. I need you to be honest with me, Bijou. Uh, Do you know a painter it... called Hobbs? Yep. No, I don't think so. You this don't say. He knows you. Yes, just look at all these paintings. Traveling. One can't remember them all. Hmm. Okay. Um. This is a note from Hobbs that I found in your safe. How did you get access to that? How dare you? You gave did me you? the key. You gave me the keys. I did. Oh my <laughs> While I was disguised I as your husband. <laughs> do anything else? Did we though? The no. is addressed to you. So Lane was telling the truth. No. You were in charge of the paperwork. Oh, so what if I was? That's not illegal? Anyway. The from Hobbs makes it quite clear that you knew him rather well. Oh, all right, I did. So, you lied to me. <laughs> you lied to me? All right, uh... So this? you had the provenance made. You knew it was fake. I'm not admitting anything. Mm -hmm. I believe this is for you. A diamond for me? What has that to do with me? A gift for you, from Henri. Henri bought me so many expensive things. He never needed to. I think Henri asked Madofsky for more money so that he could buy you that ring. And maybe that's the reason he was shot. <coughs> oh, gee. Okay, okay. No, let's, let's not. She's right. <coughs> Henri always felt he had to fight to keep it. 
truth is, <coughs> I love them both. <coughs> we and Henri. And now Henri is dead because of me. Oh, God. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I promise Quest I will tell the Questions! Truth. That's how it sounded. Like with a G. Alright. So, you and Hobbes are lovers? We have been ever since 75. Henri never knew about it. What time period is this? They were in a band what year is it? So you are unfaithful to Henri right <clears throat> from the start. It was never cheating. I love them both. Ah, uh, did, did they know about each other? No. Then you're cheating. <laughs> so you had Hobbes fake the provenance so that Lane would approve it for the insurance. Will passed it to me, and I persuaded Lane to sign it. Weef. He never knew. So his name is Wilf. Wilf is brilliant at what he does. Uh huh. Hence all the things. So what was Madovsky's <coughs> role in all this? It was all his idea. He'd had an oh. offer on La Melodixio from <coughs> someone, so Wilf put Madovsky in touch with me and Henri. He wanted to cash in on both the sale and the insurance. He set up the security company to deal with the robbery. I've been oh. such a fool. Henri was never supposed to die. I know you didn't mean for that to happen. Wilf called me yesterday trying to comfort me. He said he would take care of me. That he had plans. Does that mean he has the painting? Yes. He joked about a secret place. Mm. Something about the original being behind my behind. I didn't understand. Thanks, <laughs> Dizzy. You've been very Beh helpful. My, it's behind my behind. You know, I had the strangest <laughs> dream It's in the ever. back of my ass. <laughs> and we danced together again. Such bliss. Oh, you don't that say. That must have been wonderful. Anyway, thanks again for <gasps> hey, your time. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Nico, I think it's time we went to London. Again. I guess we're buying more plane Josh, tickets. Do you have something you need to tell me? About no. what? Can't think of anything right now. Well, let's go. Shall we? Hmm. <laughs> Several hours later, did you drive there? In a seedy part of London. <laughs> Oh my god, so it's dark. Hobbs was at the heart of the whole scam. All we have to do now is find the painting. Yeah, then we blow everything open and nail Madovsky. I get that front page story. And I get to clear my name and keep my job. Hmm. So much for your devil worshipping Gnostic, Josh. Well, you know me. I Nothing will see. I like more than a good conspiracy. <laughs> like Pizzagate. <gasps> Pocket pizza! <laughs> Something's not right here. What's the matter? This chain. It's from the huh. cake. So? It's been forced. A break-in. Or maybe a breakout? Hobbs escaping from Lady Piermont? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. But this doesn't feel right. Does anything feel right? All right. Grab the crowbar. Hey, Nico, take a look at this. Hmm, do you think someone used it to force the gate? Probably. Possibly. And bash but the back of the van window? You never know when you're going to need a crowbar. <laughs> uh, don't ask me where I'm storing all this. <laughs> I get so much stuff. Oh, my God. All right. We're still in episode one, too. Like, God damn. Damn, they were, like, it's only two episodes, but, but like, they actually make the episodes pretty lengthy. Um, alright, uh, okay, knock on the studio entrance. I don't know why. Could literally give away the fact that we're here. <clears throat> Hello, Seagull. <laughs> Mine? 
<laughs> my, 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 One Mississippi, my. two Mississippi, <clears throat> three Mississippi. <laughs> Just kicks it to open. <laughs> uh, Van Horn. Oh my god. A blast on the horn had worked last time. Mine, 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 mine. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay, now we're going to climb the drain pipe. Thank you, cursor. Oh, it's back. Hey, Nico. Look. A drain pipe. Drain pipe looks comfortable. <clears throat> Are you mad? <laughs> Madness. This is Sparta. <laughs> mine. Get out of here. Mine. 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 That's one nasty bird. Mine. Mine. Hey, Nico. What's yours? Uh, we want the van horn. Do me a favor and honk the horn. No problem. Mine, mine, mine. Okay. Uh, crowbar on. Uh, come on. Crane. Be careful, Josh. Hey, don't worry. I got this. Hey! Right there, Nico. Quick, come and let you in. How would that be done? No. <laughs> All right. Sounds Something like the room. Right. Well, no duh. Better be careful. All right. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. I guess I got that. Whoa. You better come and take a look at this. Oh God. What? What is it? Mon Dieu. It's a Manet. Oh, no, it's, it's not. It's a Hobbes. In the style of Manet. Or, as the experts prefer to call it, a forged Manet. Huh. Hobbes isn't just a restorer. He's a full-blown forger. Wow. Oh, that must be... You. Hobbes is good. You look very pretty. And <laughs> that's you. Oh, my. You look very... Violated. Yes. Is that Lady Piermont? Yes. Is she? Yep. <laughs> In your... Yeah. Sh shut up. Oh, so all along we were just modeling for a forgery. Forgery. Terrific, huh? I can add it to my murder rap. <laughs> Let's just pretend this never happened, okay? Let me just put this back. All right, uh, then use the lift buttons upstairs. Then you use the chain in your inventory on the lift. All right. What are you doing? Hold on. I'm not exactly sure yet. <clears throat> okay, then we're going to use the chain that we got from outside on the lift. Oh my god, are we going to... Okay. That should do the trick. What the frick? Okay. 
Now we're gonna go through the balcony door. So what now? Let's see what Hobbs keeps tucked away up here. Hey. So this is Hobbs's lair. Not exactly the penthouse suite, is it? Hey, I mean, honestly? I mean, in all honesty, if I had a place like this guy's, like a li like a small living space, space like tucked away, but then a whole like studio area, I'd totally be down. I would love that. That, just have an entire place that that is like both my entertainment, like both like entertainment and stuff for when I have company over and probably like my space to do like videos and, and streams and stuff. Like honestly for me, that that's that's a fr freaking steal. I would totally go for that. Um, um, but I like obviously I would put in like very extra security to make sure that area is secured. Um, and make sure, like, nothing's, uh, n no, nothing gets, uh, taken or destroyed. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, click on the pho phone to listen to the message. Okay, where is the phone? Oh, literally right there. <clears throat> what is it? It's a phone. Hobbs is answer phone, and he's got messages. Let's hear them. Okay. <laughs> Hobbs, Medovsky here. I'm at the airport. I have to be quick. My flight leaves shortly and I... Final call for passengers for flight BA-470 to Barcelona. Mm. It is a shame that you would like to be released from our agreement. It was mutually lucrative. But if that is your wish, I respect it. I shall send my men around to tie up. Mm. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Hello, darling. It's Dusha. Oh, no. Look, sweetie, but I'm going to have to put our little plans on hold again. Oh, jeez. I've spoken to that insurance man and his girlfriend. I told him oh. pretty much everything. Oh, ah, ah, ah. I want to be. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I feel so guilty, darling. You were thinking you were about us. Do take care with that Russian, my love. Bon voyage, my love. A bientôt. You have no more messages. Wow. So Bijou knew about everything. At least she was faithful to Henri in the end. And what if Madovsky's guy got here first? What if Madovsky's guy's still here? Anyway. Hey, a portrait. <laughs> Strange. It looks like a woman's ass. Hey, Nico. Come and take a look at this. <laughs> this painting. There's something familiar about it. It's a woman's buttocks, Charles. <laughs> I know that, but I recognize it. I recognize those oh, cheeks what? anywhere. <laughs> I don't want to know how you know that, George. <laughs> but didn't she say the painting was hidden behind her behind? Exactly. So maybe. Take it down. It's screwed into the wall. Damn it. Alright. Alright, uh, okay. Next, open the cupboard door. <clears throat> Who knows what useful objects this cupboard might hold? <laughs> Don't get too excited, Josh. Well, looky here. A useful bottle of Diet uh, Cola. Uh, hell yeah. Let's take the cola. You never know when you might need a Diet Cola. <laughs> no. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's supposed to be Coke. It's definitely Coca-Cola. Alright. Uh let's alright. Go to the Yep, he's dead. Uh yeah. <clears throat> uh Nico. Oh no. <clears throat> yeah, I think the guys got here first. Oh, no. Oh, Bajet is down two men. Sure looks that way. Oh god. He's oh. strangled. You know, maybe Simeon was really. Right. It Damn. seems like anyone who gets close to this painting he was, dies. He was the very built. This is all about the big money. dude. Must have been an even bigger man. Alright. Uh, Whoever did this was a professional. We need to be careful. Alright. Uh, take the mints. Dead man's mints. <gasps> Diacola! Yeah! I know exactly what we're gonna do with that. Hell yeah. Okay. And that's it. That's it, apparently. <laughs> Thanks for the close up. Uh, examine the empty frame? What is empty frame? Uh, this. I'm guessing this frame? Just this frame. Take a look at this. <laughs> Someone's cut out a painting from this frame in what? a hurry. Are you serious? The canvas left around the frame looks just like La Maledizio. Oh my if god. If that was La Maledizio, then someone's beaten us to it. Yep. But remember how Bijou said the original was hidden? You're right. right, so that was the copy. And Hobbes is a master forger. Then whoever stole this one has got themselves a genuine Hobbes fake. And the original should still be around <clears throat> here, hidden somewhere. All right, so let's see. So we need to look, f examine the pin board. Where the hell that is? Pin board, pin board. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Nico, come and take a look at this. Nico, you might as well just be right next to me at all times if I'm just gonna keep calling you over. Looks like Hobbes just is busy. A map of Catalonia. Oh damn. Sketches and notes on the painting. Do you think Hobbes was looking for this tabula veritatis? I think Hobbes was a lot cleverer than he seemed. Hmm. Okay. Uh, examine the sketch on the bottom right. This is the human pyramid from the painting. Hmm. Castel. The Catalan word for castle. Do you think the two are linked? Okay, and then click on Castel de del Sants. Del Sants. Castel del Sants. I think Sants means saints. That's yep. what Marquez wrote on the photo. So that would make a Castel del Sants. A tower, tower of, saints. of saints. Like in the painting. This must be the clue. Huh. Okay. After doing this, you'll like say out of the close up, get another achievement, decrypted Hobbes's map. No por no parlo lo el el cat catala. At some point. for the achievement <laughs> he's my achievement where's my achievement damn it. there it is there there it is all right okay now <laughs> all right we gotta use the crowbar <laughs> on the ass <laughs> This playthrough has definitely brought up some some stuff. I love it. I love it. La Maledizio. Whoa! Amazing. Wow. Sure this is real thing. This well, is. I'm no expert, but yeah, it must be. Look, 
In the middle. It's the same face that Hobbs drew on his sketch. Yeah. And the same symbol cut into why his head. Why does that saint have a pink head? Painting, but I wonder why it was originally <laughs> painted over it. Like Simeon said, hidden Gnostic secrets. One thing is certain. This one is the original. Which okay, I thought so. Yeah, I mean, I thought this was a tree, but it's not. And I'll bet my bottom this is so weird. The so, the so, damn it. I'm gonna let side look like yeah. God, the right Should side was probably uh, Lucifer. Yeah, looks like God. The right side was probably Lucifer. It's really hmm. in the end, it was all about money and greed. Madovsky wanted to sell the painting and claim the insurance. And he didn't care how many people he killed along the way. So what now? Hand over everything to the police? I guess so. With what we found out, Langham should have no trouble picking up Madovsky in Spain. I do wonder what that secret map points to. Mm, right. You still think the evil Gnostics are Batman the goddess? <laughs> I don't know. I love it. But I do have questions that haven't been answered. I love that What's Twitter that? name. Well, Batman goddess. What do those symbols on the painting mean? What was Marquez really up to? Why was the sign of the Tabula Veritatis hidden under layers of paint? Oh. Uh, oh, damn. Why is I the see. building on fire? What? And what did... Wait, what? Did you see... Fire? Oh God! Oh, okay. We need to get out of here. You should. You're supposed. You're supposed to check the. Uh, okay. Uh, put mints in cola. <laughs> I dropped the mints into the cola and quickly tightened the cap again. Okay. The trembling bottle uh, needs to go into the drip bucket. Bucket. The. This isn't no time for for a leisurely stroll. <laughs> Hurry, toss it in. An open skylight looked like our ticket out of here. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Now we need to use the the crowbar on the crowbar on dust sheet. Oh, wow. Really. Oh my god, here we go. MacGyver in action. This guy's totally a MacGyver. Tying the sheet to the crowbar made a halfway decent grappling hook. Unbelievable. <laughs> Alright, grappling hook. This is no time to check your phone. Let's get out of here. Help us get out of here. Hey! That, that's a huge sheet. After you, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hobbs. <laughs> but considering you're already dead. <laughs> Terrific. Out of the fire, into the frying pan. Wait, Josh, isn't that... Langham. Oh, thank God. Hey, Langham! Langham, help! We're up here! He was the one that started the fire. He was the one that started it. Son of a bitch! He was Wait, crooked! Round here. He was crooked this entire time! He probably know. wasn't even part of Interpol. Maybe because he started the fire. Because he wanted to kill us. Damn it. Why? I have no idea. Because he you works for uh, 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 Minovsky! Maybe Simeon too. So who is he? And who does he really work for? I don't know. Minovsky! This is not over. He said he would send his men. Josh, do you hear that? <laughs> London's finest. Now you be nice to the firemen. So what now? Now, we go to Spain in search of the Castel del Sanz and the Tabula Veritatis. Well, before, well, after we uh, we get questioned by the by the, by the firemen. <laughs> Woo! All right. Nico the and I had thought the adventure was over. Actually, <laughs> we'd only just started. Nothing no. was what it seemed. What's with the pig head? Or is that wolf head? I don't know. Either way. A murderous conspiracy. What's going on here? A conspiracy whose roots lay in mysteries older than the written word. We didn't really have any choice. What is going on? 
I'm really trying to understand what the hell's going on in this painting. <laughs> that, that face is like, mm hmm. There's more to this game than meets the eye. Mm hmm. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of episode one. Hell yeah. Catalonia, the foothills of the Pyrenees. After a short flight and a long drive, Nico and I arrived at Castel del Santos. Hell Back yeah. in London, we tracked down La Melodexia, and it started to unravel its secrets. The painting was Oh yeah, this is the place from the beginning. The of the Tabula Veritatis. Oh, we must be going to... I'm sure we're going to end up at the, uh, at the old guy's house. Uh, Tiago. Tiago's old house. Yep, there it is. <laughs> we knew they would stop at nothing. <clears throat> Let's just hope we got here before the bad guys. Hmm. Seems quiet enough. Looks like nobody's been here for years. It must have been a beautiful place, once upon a time. You think the tabula <coughs> is really to be here? Somewhere, if we can just decode the painting. Well, looks deserted. Until that happens. Deserted? I don't think so. Yeah, Did I you know. see who it was? No. no. The sun was in my eyes. Looks like somebody's beaten us to it. But who? Madonsky? Langham? Whoever it is, we need to get in there. Oh. <laughs> All right. Be a diversion. <laughs> I'll try and reach some cover. And be careful. Are you kidding? You're the one who's going to get shot. Oh. Okay. Uh. Okay. This is crumbled wall. Um, let's get the helmet on the ground. This helmet right here, apparently. Hey. Okay. Why do I have a mop? Whatever. Okay. Put the helmet on the mop. A helmet on a pole? Always useful. Alright. Uh, okay. And then we're gonna put this by the crumbled wall. <sighs> I just hope this works. Are you ready? I can't wait. Nope. Go. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Hello, friend. Oh no. Hello, goats, my old friend. <laughs> I made it without getting shot, but I sure didn't feel lucky. All right. Somehow, I had to distract the shooter again. And this time, I was on my own. With a ghost from the past giving me an evil stare. <laughs> Me. <laughs> goats. All right, we're going to save here because apparently there are, there are some margins for errors. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Hello. Goat, we meet again, <laughs> apparently, because I didn't play any of the previous games, but apparently I have problems with goats. Let's go! Me. <laughs> Alright. Okay, interact with Apple Tree. The tree was way too sturdy for me to shake any apples down. No. Uh, no. Okay. I'm going to restore. <laughs> I'm going to restore that. Okay. Apple tree. Oh, heck. Ow. Hey, 
That's mine. The goat had eaten Hobbs' carefully crafted provenance. Oh, that's why. Okay. Let's well, restore again. <laughs> okay. Interact with Apple Tree. Then we're going to dodge. Oh, heck. To the lower left. Dodge! Dodge! Okay. Pick up the apples. The apples were bruised. It's fine. Okay, now use apples on on goat. <laughs> hey, Mr. Goat. Uh, uh, look what I got for you. I was hoping the goat would be more friendly then. All right. First use apple inventory on the goat. Now use the, uh, use this on Then use this on it? I have to use this on the goat? Look what I got for you, little fella. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Whoa! And then we gotta use this. This is weird. Here you go, goat. Look what I got for you, little fella. Me. This is so weird. Okay, now I gotta use a piece of this. Look what I got for you, little fella. Okay. Huh? What? Uh. Okay. All right, that was something. All right, uh, <laughs> why? Okay, now use the apples on oh, the bottom. Oh, you're gonna love this. Me. <laughs> okay. I then. distracted the goat, but it yeah, wouldn't yeah. take him long to eat that apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tire. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? See, like my tire moved. Oh, sweet! Some more apples. The goat now had a whole pile of apples to pick into. <laughs> I tossed him my last apple. Oh, sweet! Thanks. Alright, uh, take the side mirror on from the car. And Jesus Christ, can you please be quiet up there? For once. <laughs> I just don't get it. Okay, and then use the mirror on the sun. <laughs> take this, sun! Order of the I blinded the shooter. <laughs> what the hell? Who the Wilhelm scream? Ah! Don't think I can't see you, Senor. If you so much as move an inch, I shall shoot you. R Raman? Hey, what's up, buddy? Senor, please. Whoever you are, hold your fire. I'm not armed. Good. That makes it easier for me to shoot you. Look, man. My name is George Stobart. I'm a friend. I have no friends. 
Well, that doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> Friend. All we want is a quick look inside the castell. I don't believe you. You are here to kill Senor Marquez. Senor Marquez? He's alive? Well, he'll vouch for us. You don't fool me like that. Get out of here before no. I kill you. Senor Marquez knows me, I swear. And I know a lie when I hear one. Go now, or I shoot. Wait, I have important information. Buste, Whoa! Hi. Do you understand what I am saying? Oh Try my God. saying it and let's see. Ah, oh. well, uh, hi. I'm you? George Stobart, and I come in peace. Eva? Do you mind putting that down? I've had a really bad day. How do you Guns know her name's don't Eva? don't agree with you? Uh, no. How do you? Neither do ghosts. <laughs> I have <laughs> bruises in places that <laughs> you know, in places. So leave. We're here looking for something. Well, go look for it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. We were helping a man called Marquez in Paris. He is my father. I could see where she oh. inherited her temperament. <laughs> Your father? Well, he's our friend. Why should I believe you? Show me proof. Uh, okay, and then show this. We'll track down his painting, La Maledictio. Look. Where did you get this? She wouldn't believe me. <laughs> All right, you better come with me, but no funny business, okay? You know, okay, can, like my friend Nico. Can Nico, can Nico? Nico, help! <laughs> help! <laughs> Eva, oh, she pretty. What's going on, Ramon? Who's out there? Some crazy American. Don't worry. Eva will deal with him. Papa. These people want to talk to you. Eva, I thought we agreed to shoot intruders on sight. You, how did you find me? It wasn't easy, senor. <coughs> we thought but, you were dead. I mean, you were technically wrong. it was a lucky guess. They've brought you something, Papa. Damn it. <coughs> At last, la malediction. Well, it fit in the frame. <laughs> it is magically well, fit. Looks like la malediction hangs in its right place again. Indeed. I have waited all my life for this. But something interesting? The painting. It is different. The face in the middle. The one with the symbol of the tabula veritatis on it? How do you know about the tabula? The and I do my research. said it was the devil's work. Ha! Ah, priests. Full of lies, every one of them. Oh, really? Jesus well, this Christ. priest said that the tabula was an instrument to raise the devil. Fool. Who would want to raise the devil? But you do want to find oh. the tabula. Yes. Because it is a Gnostic treasure. It is special. My mm. duty is to keep it safe. I'm sure fine. that Marquez still wasn't telling me the whole truth. And now? I shall decipher the painting and find the tabula. Before she died, okay. my mother said that once the painting hung here again, its meaning would become clear, and the route to the tabula would be revealed. So, what's the answer? Where's the tabula? I don't know. The room has changed. Was there something <coughs> different about the room back then? No. Yes. I don't know. You must Ugh. help me. Ugh. Well, how? I, I'm not a Gnostic. Senor, you must. Because soon, the Russian will be here. He knows about Castel del Sants? I regret, Senor, <coughs> that in Paris, I told his sidekick a little too much. Ah, well, mm. I guess we'd better figure this out. And fast. Sure. I'll go and keep watch. 
Shoot on sight, remember. Well, Nico, what now? <clears throat> you try and work out just why the painting has to be in this room. I'll go and see if Eva knows anything. Whether he knew it or not, I was sure Marquez had the answer. All right, so we have to oh, we have to open this. Look at the. Uh... Okay. Uh... No, damn it. Uh, okay, examine. The photo was of the Marquez family. Okay, so to look at this, examine the statue that is on top of the fireplace. On the fireplace behind them were two identical statues. <clears throat> okay. On the fireplace behind them were two identical statues. Okay. Examine the mantelpiece. Oh, the statues are missing. La Maledizio, back in its rightful place. But what were the clues? The plinths looked like they could be rotated. Mm-hmm. Well, also, there's nothing on there. Okay. Uh, we'll now speak to you. Senor Marquez? What do you want? Mr. Stobart? If we're going to find Don't the sound fabula, so disappointed. <laughs> yes? Then you will have to help. Of course. <clears throat> I mean, by being totally honest with us. When have I not been honest? Well, the painting. Tell me about the painting. When I was a child, I would stand here for hours just staring at it. Not weird. Who was okay. the mysterious <laughs> painter? El Serp. The Serpent. And what did it mean, la maledizione, the curse? I asked my father, but he just told me to be patient. He said that one hmm. day I would know everything. I'm really curious. Senor, can you decipher any of the painting? The Tower of Saints, of course. I knew it was a castel. And the saints themselves are Gnostic. You see the woman in red? The one you marked in the photo? Huh. She is Mary Magdalene. We revere her as Christ's greatest disciple. Hmm. The rest, I don't know. The symbol on the face, it is obviously the tabula. Mm -hmm. But the elements around it, I don't know. Okay, and then we're going to talk about the cuss. The Cas de la de, Sa de Santos. Hold on. When were you last here, Senor? Not since that day when my father was killed. So why did the painting bring us here? As I said, because only here in this room will its clues become clear. Okay, then we're going to select this twice. Why is the Tabula Veritata <coughs> so important to the Gnostics? It is an object of immense power. My ancestors kept it safe for hundreds of years. They brought it to Catalonia as exiles long ago. In any generation, only one Gnostic knows its exact location. My father, Clavier, was the last of these. He knew dark forces were gathering, but I was too young to learn the secret. So he commissioned La Maledizione, embedding clues to the location of the tabula within the painting. Okay. Okay, but what is again. the tabula? What does it do? I do not know. I know <sighs> only that in the wrong hands, it would be catastrophic for mankind. Uh-huh. 
All right, select medallion. I think this is yours. My medallion. Where did you find it? Oh, well. It was left in Nico's neighbor's apartment. You want it back? <sighs> oh, excuse me. No, you keep it for now. Okay. It has a meaning, a purpose. Perhaps you can find out what. Sure. Just let me know if you ever want it back. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> and how's the sketch? Take a look at the sketch. <laughs> Take a look at this sketch. La Maledicio. Yep. It was drawn Why? by the man who restored the painting. Then he knew of the Tabula Veritatis. What other secrets did he uncover? Uh, I don't know, but he's dead now. Just as well. The fewer that know the secrets of La Maledicio, the better. Alrighty. We'll get back to it. Yep. Trying to do. Okay, so if we go, so it's apparently somewhere in the left. It's the green stone. There was a piece of stone on the ground. It looked like a discarded statue. Oh, green statue. Sorry. <laughs> All right, and then go through the door. And there will be another green statue. There it is. All right. And then go back through here. And then we have to go outside. Meow. Door. I can see the garden. Okay. Now we have. So until you came Damn here, it. you knew nothing about the castle. Didn't know, wasn't interested. I better get back on guard in case anyone else shows up. Your father okay, needs okay. a while, Kiba. My father needs rest, peace, and quiet. Not more of this Gnostic nonsense. Hey, you never know. Have you ever seen Tomb Raider? Um. <laughs> so what did you find out? Not a lot. Eva thinks her father's losing it. She doesn't have much time for Gnosticism. Oh, oh God. She's never been here before. In fact, Marquez never even talked about the place. As far as I can tell, she and her father never got on. She left home the moment she could. Hmm. I don't blame her. So why is she here now? Marquez begged her, said he was in danger. I guess maybe I'll go inside and have a look around too. Tell me if you find anything. Right. I'm not having much luck so far. I don't know. No. You, you've been, like, doing good. <clears throat> Alright. Pick up the blue statue. Alright. And then pick up the blue broken one. And then we're going to go to the sundial. Hey, what's up? Don't mind me. Don't oh, mind me. Go ahead. Go back to pointing the gun. It was an old weathered sundial. From the dial, I could see that the main doors of the house faced north. Oh, really? Okay, good to know. All right, back inside. All right, and then. Uh, bu bu Okay. Uh, speak to Nico. What are you thinking, Nico? The fireplace. It looks familiar. You're right. You know <laughs> what? In Marquez's photo, his family was standing in front of it. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. And then... I examine... There we go. I wondered if the notes could help decrypt La Maledicio. Okay. First passage. The first passage read, And thus spoke the accused. In this ritual, we find succor. 
Clad in blue, the perfecti take the form of the spiritual and look towards the rising sun, toward the tree of knowledge. Clad in green, the credentes look the other way, towards the setting sun, where stands the tree of life. I wonder what it all meant. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, so... Then we'll put the, uh, this picture on the mantle. I had to get closer before trying that. Marquez said that the painting contained clues only a Gnostic could solve. But when it was back in this room, all would become clear. Okay. Place... Okay, now we need to place the broken green statue on the left one. Okay, and then interact with this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we're going to put the blue statue on the right one. And we're going to interact with this one six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Ah, what is this? A staircase. I never knew. Hell we yeah. must go up. We don't have much time. Whoa. Stairs. Always stairs. Well, oh what do you expect, man? God, look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Jules? Jules? Oh. Oh, well, that sucks. What's this? A piece Wait. of burnt paper with the word Wolfram. That sounds familiar. Wolfram? Wolfram. I curse that name forever. What do you know about Wolfram, senor? Wolfram. I spit on the name. <laughs> okay, let's talk well, about it more. What is Wolfram? It was a mining company run by a murdering swine called Ganon. Oh. In the civil war, they backed the fascists. In return, Ganon was given soldiers to do his dirty work. They came here brought their bloody war to this house and killed Senor Xavier. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna talk about Xavier. They shot Xavier? Senor Marquez's father? I was just a boy, but I remember like it was yesterday. Oh! Shot him and his friend, Hernandez. Oh, the kid like that was Andres. helping them back in the... Why did they come here? They were searching for something, but they brought death with them. But there is one thing I have never understood. Javier tried to escape oh. through the library. But <laughs> Sorry if you don't like cracking. Windows, a bar. Oh, okay. It is a dead end. Okay. Uh, then, whoever this guy this is. Kenan, who, who was he? He was Swiss, a businessman, and a murdering swine. So what did he want here? <laughs> he also I went by... When he wasn't Gun. torturing the locals, <laughs> he disappeared <laughs> to the library. <laughs> spent weeks <laughs> in there, <laughs> making notes and studying maps. His men, they crossed the whole of Catalonia searching for something. Did they find it? Who knows? One day, Ganon just disappeared. He never came back. An accident, perhaps, in the mountains. May his soul rot in hell. The soldiers didn't stay long to search for him. They hated him, too. <coughs> okay, the name Ganon again. was familiar. He was the person who had tried to buy La Malatexio. A coincidence? 
Perhaps. There is no such thing as coincidence. Okay. Yes. Oh. A few years later, oh, I returned I just and cleaned the place up. It broke my heart. I locked the library. I could not bear to touch Gaiman's papers. Okay. Uh, okay. And... So you have lived here for a long time? All my life. My father served here before me. Mm. In fact, he named me after Senor Xavier's favorite saint. Hmm. Saint Ramon. Ramon. Patron saint of the falsely accused. That's nice. Not really. The Moors put a padlock through his mouth. Oh, I see. What? Uh, well, I guess there's a lesson there for all of us. Okay, ask about the old library. Can I have a look at the library? <clears throat> no. I have kept it locked to honor the memory of Senor Xavier. Please, this is important. Obviously. I lost the key. Of course. You lost it? <clears throat> that evening when I locked it up, I drank to the memory of Senor Xavier. The cellars were well stocked, Senora. <clears throat> it was a long night. I hid the key, then forgot where I hid it. So it is lost. Great. That was all that was left in the morning. I haven't touched a drop since. Hmm. I needed to find out what Gaiman had been working on in that library. Okay. Okay. And we need to speak to him again. Again. Ask about the library. So, you have no <coughs> idea what you did with the key. All I remember is waking up in the old car. In the old car? You don't say. Okay, so we're gonna go. Alright, so that means it has to be one over here. Hello, goat. Hello, goat. How are you today? Hello. Hello, little one. Hi. Hello. Don't suppose you have any more of those rich tea biscuits? I've had it up to here with apples. I can tell you. Mon dieu, a talking goat. So it's true. Goats can talk. Only when really enemy. <laughs> Josh has a real thing about goats. I know. Truth is, if it wasn't for George's fear of goats, yes, we'd never get caught again, would we? Don't tell anyone, no, will you? Or terrible wrath will descend upon you, etc., etc., etc. Until next time, my sweet. What the fuck did I just listen to? Oh, at least that's a that's achievement. Best buds. <laughs> oh my god. No, oh, I don't have the biscuits. Alright. Sorry, goat friend. <laughs> that. Oh my god. Okay. Oh jeez, really? Gotta use the press. Gum on radio.
What the f- what? <sighs> Jesus Christ. It's making so many references to past games that I- of course I don't know them. It's like when I first played Yakuza 0 and they were referencing all the other games and I was like, I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> okay, okay, now interact with the pillow. <laughs> okay. I picked up what looked like an old diary. Huh? It was Ramon's. Mm -hmm. The library will Ramon. forever be a shrine. No one will enter. I shall hide the key in a safe place. Once a beacon. I have just what I need and know what to do. Oh, beautiful lady. Your eyes are so blue. I just can't stop thinking of you. <laughs> mm, Ramon was quite the budding poet. Our lives are entwined like ivy on a tree. That is what you mean to me. Meh. Meh. Hey, I was reading that. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, tin can the keys. The floor of the car was littered with keys from sub bean cans. Interesting. Uh, exit the clo close up, go back, go back to the fountain, then examine the wind chime. Enter up close. What's up, friend? Have you no respect for great art? <clears throat> no. Pretty indigestible, huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway. Alright, wind chimes, wind chimes, wind chimes! The wind chime looked like it was made from old cans. I wondered if it was Ramon's handiwork. There we One there we go. old sardine can was bulging slightly. I fished around. There was something in it. And it's there the it key. Was, the key to the library. Hell yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, so go back in. Okay. Do this small. Go back to the van. Uh, hallway, and then there it is. All right. Here we go. Ramon had been true to his word. This place was like a shrine. Hmm. All right. Examine the truck. The what trunk contains someone's personal possessions. At a guess, <gasps> Indiana <yeah>. Jones. <laughs> I wondered what <laughs> secrets they might hold. All right, uh, map. On the map. On the map. Let's see. God. God, don't tell me while she's examining it. The like we're gonna hear gunfire. Markings and scribbles all over it. George would be so jealous. Hmm. Speaking of George. So what is this place, Senor? 
It is my family's chapel. It's not like any chapel I ever saw. Where's the altar, the crucifix, the Christian symbol? D really? And this fresco, what's that? How extraordinary. It tells a story. It depicts the journey of my ancestors, the Cathars, and their escape from the hilltop fortress of Montsegur with the Tabula Veritatis. From under the very noses of the soldiers of the Albigensian Crusade. Whoa, wait, cool. wait a minute. Who are the Cathars? And and what have they got <laughs> to do with the Tabula? He's saying more things I don't understand. The Cathars hey, whoa. were Gnostics. They lived in the south of One France world? in the 12th century, at peace with the Jews and the Catholics of the Languedoc. They preached that men and women are equal, that God is within you, and that the church is an obstacle to salvation. What? The Pope found their core beliefs abhorrent. The Cathars accused him and his church of corruption. He condemned them as heretics. When the Pope Just because they believed in their own religion. The oh, of the Veritatis, he conspired so no with the King of France and called for a holy war to wipe them out. The Albigensian Crusade was a callous, ruthless oh, massacre. Great. The final confrontation took place here at Montsegur in 1244. The Crusaders believed that they had slaughtered all the heretics. But obviously not. But a handful managed to escape with the tabula. They traveled south across the Pyrenees along secret trails. They brought the tabula here to Catalonia to be hidden once more. Sadly, okay. it was not the end of their trials. The Spanish Inquisition saw to that. Nevertheless, for generations, my ancestors continued to guard the secrets of the tabula. So, you understand why the maledizio is important to me. It will lead no. us to the tabula <laughs> again. All that went right over my head. <laughs> who wish to abuse its power. The painting brought us up here, Senor. We need to find out why. Alright. Okay, let's talk to him. Senor Marquez? Yes? <laughs> We're going to talk about the fresco. Maybe the fresco is important. No doubt. Perhaps it's there for a reason. A dark time no, it's just there for decoration. But wait. There is something strange. Okay. Go on. Each of the escaping Cathars is carrying a tabula. But you said there's only one tabula. That oh. is right. So why would they paint this lie? Maybe to hide the real destination? Of course. And only a Gnostic would know the right one. You don't say. All right. Okay, so after that, exit the conversation. Um, examine one of the statues in the room. Examine this one. It was a large marble statue of an old man with a beard. Okay. The statue held aloft a colored glass lens. Hmm. These statues. There was in the glass lens. What of them? They're just like the figures in the painting. In and on the fireplace. Wait. Indeed. Jehovah's hands? They are the two pillars of the Gnostic faith in harmony. And the bearded one is Yahweh, Jehovah. God of the physical world. So God. The other is known by many names. Helel, Ishtar. Lucifer. He is the bearer of light. Luke's fairy. Lucifer. There we go. Lucifer? So you guys are devil worshippers. Oh my no. god. When he is in balance with Jehovah, Lucifer is the god of desire and ambition driving humans to be inquisitive, to discover, to huh. advance. Wow. Just as Jehovah, when he is in balance with Lucifer, is the god of order. Wow. Jehovah stands for selflessness and altruism. 
agnostics worship the harmony of both gods in balance. Wow. But what if one were to rule without this the This is other? interesting. If Jehovah ruled without Lucifer, then individuality would be surrendered. Mankind would be wholly conformist, mindlessly dependent. Hmm. Mere pawns of a controlling power. And what if Lucifer ruled without Jehovah? Ambition and desire would be transformed into unbridled greed, and man would lust only for wealth and power. Society mm. would descend into chaos. Disorder and war would prevail. Then, Lucifer would be the devil indeed. Wow. So one cannot even live without another. Now, this is a very interesting way of interpreting, like, everything that we know about, like, God and the Bible, Lucifer and everything. That's actually really interesting. It's, like, it's so simple, like, trying to think of what, like, how, um, like, how does one live without the other, you know? The, the old good versus evil, um, yin-yang. Kind of thing it's very interesting i'm liking this <laughs> anyway uh glass lens it was a glass wheel divided into <clears throat> six colors and it looked what? like it could be rotated you don't part say. of the lens was covered all right let's look at it closely and okay Okay, the leather cover, uh, remove it. I removed the small leather cover to reveal a crude crystal lens. Colored light oh. streamed through and shone oh. on the fresco. So, it should be green and blue. And, sorry. Uh, okay. Exit the close-up, do the same, same with Lucifer's. Okay. Uh, uh, excuse me. It was a glass wheel, just like the one held by the other statue. And oh my God! The look at the cover. Look at that. Look at the uh, fresco. Come on. Remove that cover. All right. Okay. So remove that cover. Uh, now examine the fresco. The fresco deserved a proper examination. Look at the lights. Look at the pretty lights. The fresco was surrounded by dusty inscriptions. My Latin was a little rusty, but I could still translate. Ex igne puritas, from fire, purity. Jeez. Ex luce veritas, from light, truth. Okay. Ex labore sapientia, from struggle, knowledge. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. We. Okay, so you need to get blue, green, and red lights shining on the fresco. The large painting covered the far wall of the chapel. I needed a closer look to pick out the detail in the scene. Right. Just want to see. All right, so go back to the glass lens. So we need to change this one to green. Uh, the color changed from yellow to green. Hell yeah. All right, uh, okay. Do the same with Lucifer's lens, except make it blue. Oh. The color changed from yellow to green. The color changed from green to turquoise. Oh, that's the turquoise. The color changed from turquoise to blue. There we go. All right, there's that. And then there's the, then we gotta use the matches on this thing. Oh. Just what this place needed, bit of mood lighting. If only I had a few scatter cushions. Now, then we get disco ball in here. Go. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Amazing. The light is showing the path. The path of the Bonzon. The what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's weird. This town. And which town is that? I don't know. That I cannot answer. But its coat of arms is quite distinctive. Oh, the yellow but and black one. How does it bring us closer to the tabula? He tells us the route the tabula Just go. Took. <laughs> you go down the route. I think right. that's all we're gonna find up here. You're right. We should return to the hall. Eva will be getting worried. Oh, Eva. Okay. Okay. We found the route of the Bonzom Trail. How does it help us? It must somehow relate to the Benti. Alright. Papa, oh. are you crazy? What are you doing? I'm fine. Don't fuss. You got me out here. I'm to okay. Me, so let hey. me do it. <laughs> Your mom is outside keeping watch. Hey Nico. How you doing? Josh, I'm glad you're safe. What did you find? Oh, <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. There's a secret chapel above the fireplace. But it's not your average everyday chapel. <laughs> it's a freaking raven there. Party all, all night, fish all day. Not one guy, <laughs> but two. What? I'll tell you when we have more time. You know, I found some things too, which <laughs> might connect with all that. Come to the library. Oh, uh, could you bring the painting? I think we're going to need it. Okay. Alright, anyway. Uh, we gotta check the shields. There it is. Okay, examine that one because that's the one we're looking at. Heraldic symbols had been painted. The coat of arms was exactly the same as the one depicted on the fresco. It read Berga. Yep, that one. Okay, so Berga. That's what we need to know there. Uh, we need to take the painting. Hey, so I, I know you just put this back up, but uh, I need to what take this back. What are you doing with La Maledizio? Nico uh, found something. I'm putting it in my pizza pocket. I ah, to yeah, tell. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that... Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm out of pizza. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Still got some... Uh, 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 the pineapple skin moldy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, go. <laughs> okay, go to the library. Eva, go with him. Make sure the painting comes to no harm. I'm. I should stay with you, Papa. That's... It's fine. Don't worry Papa. about me. La maledicio is more important. Okay. I swear, I'm not trying to do anything. Yes. Sure, why do you want it? Because I found out what Ganon was up to. The Ganon who tried to buy the painting from Madovsky? No, Ganon who led the fascists here during the Civil War. Ganon, who uh, then spent months here searching for something. Uh, and who vanished one day, leaving that trunk full of goodies over there. Huh. You think he's connected to the Ganon who wrote the letter to Madovsky? Probably. It seems likely that they were related. Hmm. Maybe. What are the co so what's the, the plan co winky you dink. Take a look at this. Look at this map. <laughs> it's Ganon's map. He was searching for something. Searching for what exactly? The Tabula Veritatis, I guess. You think he found it? I doubt it. If he had, then people wouldn't still be chasing after the painting. So mm. why did you want me to bring it? See this scribble in the sea? It's the same shape as the circles around the Ouroboros. Yes. Genan huh. thought that pattern in a painting had something to do with a map <laughs> of Catalonia. So, 
I guess okay. we try to finish what Ganon started. I'd put money on those circles around the Ouroboros being places in Catalonia. But which places? Maybe the painting can give us some more clues. Okay. Uh, go into the trunk real quick. Okay. We're going to take the hat. I lifted the hat out of the chest. Take the shirt. There was something tucked beneath the shirt. I picked up the folded note. Give me. It was a telegram. Great. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, now we need to examine it. Oh, God. The telegram has been encoded with a substitution cipher. To crack the code, highlight a letter letter on the telegram, then uh, choose a corresponding letter from the bottom alphabet. What the fuck? <laughs> Your chosen letters will appear on the telegraph, and you should soon see the correct words uh, start to form. If you make a mistake, simply select the letter again to reassign it. All right, let's see if I can do... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Fuck. That's... That's a lot. Substitution? Uh... Oh. Uh. G, G. Okay, this is a three-letter word. So, uh, the T P. <laughs> um, the T the T. Uh, okay. Okay, no, 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 not H, not H. Uh, no H, no E's. So no T, no D. The toe... So, so, uh, the, uh, wait, um, oh, wait, two, there's, there's two here, uh, let's, uh, I'm just, I'm just, no, 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 I just want to move it, no, can I remove it? No, I can't, okay, great, okay, so H is I, H is I, uh, W is E, okay, no T, no T H E. It could be A. As. Uh. Uh. What is that? S. Okay. The blank of something. Oh. Uh. Out. Out of. Out of. Okay. I'm getting rid of the vowels, <laughs> apparently. Um. Uh. Same an I. Uh, let's try I. 
because this is a foreign letter word. Let's try this. Okay. Uh, oh, this is probably stop. Because it's, it's a telegram. So it was like, beep, 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 stop. Okay, stop. Okay. I mean, I think we're getting somewhere. I just don't know what. Oh, shit. Okay, no, H is already taken, so it can't be as, or has. Um, was A used yet? No, it doesn't look like. Um, so, A isn't taken yet. Uh, ha has uh, no 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 paz oh as quaz <laughs> razzmatazz uh uh what was okay 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 Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, what what are we close to? I'm really trying to figure this out. <laughs> this. Oh, wait. No, I don't know why I thought that was gonna be a state, but there's too many things. Oh, it's another. Two letter one? What's a two letter one? What haven't we done? So it can't be as, can't be as, can't be of. Um, what's another two letter word? Um, can't be of. Can I'm. No, no, we already have I. Bye. By the it, oh, Jesus Christ, man. The oh, oh, the tabula, tabula. Uh, e is L. E is L. I still have no idea what a like reverse thing is. Okay, the tabula. The tabula, something was something out of. Something to buy, oh, by a group, by a group. Uh, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. The tab, tab, the oh, um, um, what was it? Uh, V, um, was it a V? I think it's a V. Uh, the tab, the tabula of the, whatever. Okay. Tabula was smuggled. Was smuggled. Okay. Was, nope, 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 not sluggled. Smuggled. Okay, and that's an L. And that's a D. Smuggle out of mm. Did I use an N? Uh Ma Secure to to Atalonia by a group of No. Damn it. Oh my god, I'm missing one one letter. Oh, 
What am I missing too? C? Yeah. Okay. And Oh, that's that's probably X. Oh damn, did I do it? Tabula of a smuggle out of them. Catholic survivors stop. I have confirmed this from confessions extract extracted by the Dominican uh Inquisitor. Inquisitor. I deciphered the telegram. Noise. The tabula veritatis was smuggled out of Monsegur to Catalonia Hell by a group yeah. of Cathar survivors. I have confirmed this from confessions extracted by the Dominican Inquisitor Emric of Girona. It was signed Wolfram. Wolfram. Oh, Wolfram. Sorry, Wolfram. All right, I put everything a back in the chest. Uh. Okay, uh, go back to the map. The map had to be the key. Okay, so you must place the four, the orbs in four locations, which we n now know uh, what they are. The first is Berja. The objective is to solve the clues. Had, you know, the, yep, uh, mark their four key locations to mark a location, place a pin on the map. You will know when you have correctly identified the these, those range four locations. Of Mont Serrat. Oh, damn it. Okay, so yeah, where's Berja? Where's Berja? <laughs> God damn it, I can't really read this map well. Berja, 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 Berja. What does this say? Nope. Baga. <gasps> Freaking Baga! <laughs> um, Berga. So, the coat of arms on the fresco pointed mm -hmm. us towards Berga. Then it must be important. Um, oh, uh, Saint, say Saint Ramon. The village of San Ramon. San Ramon. Ramon told me he was named after a, a Saint Ramon. There's yep. also a saint on the painting. Let me guess, he has a hefty padlock to his lips? Two locations down. If the vignettes on the painting were anything to go by, I needed to find two more. Okay. Um, then, um... Ma I decided to put the pin back down. Yes, thank you. Um, I don't know why you had to say it, but whatever. Okay, I need Mon Montes. Okay, that one and G Giora. Oh, uh, G Girona. Mama, my Girona. <laughs> the Dominican monk Emric was from Girona, the dog-headed priest on the painting. I found three locations. Now I had to track down the last one. Why was his head a dog, though? This was one of the locations highlighted on the fresco. And this was the starting point of the journey of the Bonhomme. The good man. The Cathars, right? I could see a pattern emerging. The locations what? had formed an odd cross shape, similar to the layout of the orbs depicted on the painting. What? This is the center point of the cross, so the tabula must be here. Where? Montserrat. It has to be Montserrat. S okay, okay. The question is, what's right. Montserrat? X mar marks it's the a spot. It's a monastery in the mountains, quite a tourist spot. You but don't say something that. else. I think it used to be a Gnostic refuge hundreds of years ago. Bravo, my friend. Oh, God. Dovsky? No, Langham. No, it's Genham, isn't it? Very good, Miss Kala. Oh. So, what happened to the real Langham? He went for a long swim in the Seine. Now, I was Ooh, expecting to have to okay. rip this place apart and retrace my grandfather's steps, but I do believe you have saved me quite a lot of work. 
The tabula is at Montserrat. Who would have thought it? Huh? The old man will be coming with me. Oh, okay. No, please. Take me instead. He doesn't know anything. And you do? I think not. I mean... But he is old. Eva, hold your peace, child. You can't do this. <laughs> no, I oh, can't I can. do this. I will. Man is weak, servile, controlled. He must be freed, freed from all constraints, free to fulfill his desires. And you plan to raise the devil to achieve that? Not the devil. Lucifer. Now, that, I mean, if you don't mind, <laughs> whatever. Whoa! Come on. They can rot in there. We have to get out of here now. I assume that lunatic is as dangerous as he looks. I'm afraid so, Eva. I think he's killed before. You know, I mean, Nico? Yeah. We were chasing Madovsky, but all along, we were really up against Ganon's grandson. Uh, anyway. Look. Daylight. That doesn't make any sense. Fighter of the night light. It's a false door, Nico. So that's why Marquez's father tried to escape oh, through here. We didn't have time to open the false door. All right. Gonna interact with it. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great work, George. Come on, Eva. Let's go. Let's go save your father. We need to rescue your father and stop Langham before he gets the tabula. Uh, Eva, you, I think you, you better stay here. You mean Gana? Are you kidding? You'll need me, especially if there's a fight. Eva, it'll okay. be very dangerous. So am I. Signora, you do not understand. It is my duty. Okay. Okay. We'd better check up on Ramon first. Sure. Then we will go and kick some ass. Okay. Couldn't have put it better myself. Okay. Montserrat was way up in the mountains, a major tourist destination. But we went there as tourists. We had an old man to rescue and an ancient tablet to find. And standing in our way was a cold-blooded killer. Why would the tabula be hidden up here of all places? For hundreds of years, the mountain has been kind of uh, a sanctuary. There's a, there's, a the there's a bunch of guys with guns. 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 Oh, Where is everyone? Guns. This place is normally full of tourists. Guns. I don't like the look of this one bit. Just. This is not monks with guns. Oh. Don't even go there, Nico. Time to bring out the wait, dumb tourists. Wait, monks? <laughs> it's a role you were born to play, George. Hey. What the hell? Alright. Alright, we're gonna save here. Yes. How far are we? 69! Nice! <laughs> Perfect! Alrighty, I think this is our stopping point. Yep, it is. All right, woohoo! I think we're we're actually almost done with this. Uh, this is gonna be the last part, so we'll uh, finish this game on Thursday, and then right after we'll jump into the next game, which is South Park and the Stick of Tooth. Uh, um, I actually already already thought about uh, my character character for <laughs> for the game aim i already chose what class and basically who i'm gonna base it off on so yeah fun times <laughs> so, so yeah again we will continue this on thursday finish it off and yay hopefully i'll be able to actually uh, i think we only have a few more achievements on here too oh uh, never mind my a good handful one two Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. Lovely. <laughs> nine more achievements, but then 100%, 100%ing the game. All right. So thank you everybody for watching. Make sure to follow me here on Twitch so there we get notifications of when I start streaming. Uh, make sure to to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel of the same name. Hit the bell for notifications of when videos come up. Uh, and uh, da, 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 like and comment any videos that you have watched. And, and uh, follow me on any of my social media stuff. So until then, this is Ice Command 31 saying see you all next time when I pass by.